One of the last functioning hospitals in Gaza is on the verge of shutting down as Israeli forces appear to be preparing for a renewed ground assault. Numerous people reportedly fled the hospital in central Gaza yesterday, many of them on foot. Some pushed patients on stretchers or in wheelchairs, while others carried sick children in their arms. Meanwhile, negotiations for a ceasefire and hostage release continue in Cairo, but may be bogged down in details that are preventing an agreement from getting reached. White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby says negotiators are discussing how many hostages Hamas might release and when. Correspondent Sarah Coates is in Tel Aviv for us this morning. She joins us now with more on the escalating tensions in the region. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. We're not just talking about the North or the West Bank, also in Gaza, as you just mentioned. According to the United Nations, it's now had to halt the delivery of aid, also uh, stop its workers moving around, given that there's been a fresh evacuation order in the central area of Deir el-Bala. Now, we have heard from the Israeli military, it says it's targeting terror operatives there and also dismantling remaining terror infrastructure. Now, according According to the UN's humanitarian agency, there are four warehouses and more than a dozen other facilities in that evacuation area. Well, separately, people are now being to, forced to leave to other areas, uh, including people who are in that Al-Aqsa hospital. They're being told to go to these so-called already crammed humanitarian zones. People just don't know where to go. If you see the humanitarian area, if you see the Khan Yunis, Mawasi area, you can barely even see the sand of the floor anymore. It is just packed shelter to shelter. People are using the sand and building walls with the sand to stop the, the seawater coming into their makeshift shelters. Now, we do know that very low-level negotiations are continuing in Cairo to try and get this ceasefire and hostage deal over the line. According to John Kirby, they are constructive, but really the only optimism that we are hearing from any of these key negotiators is from the United States. He says that there are some things that these negotiators are trying to iron out now, like including the uh, transfer of Palestinian prisoners and how many hostages would be released, their names and when this would actually happen. But earlier today, there was another demonstration here in Tel Aviv. Some of the loved ones, the relatives of these more than 100 Israeli hostages that do remain in the Strip, they blocked a very busy highway just south of where I am, raising banners and letting off uh, smoke bombs, calling on Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, to get a deal done now. All right, international correspondent Sarah Coates live on the ground once again in Tel Aviv. Thank you.